beauty is in the eye of the beholder. While his artistry may be a bit unconventional, Bubba Watson's creations with ball and club are works of art. This is your, uh, your canvas, and these are your paint brushes. Now, now just be the artist. Bubba's brush strokes. Imaginative. He's gonna have to shape a shot right to left. Expressionistic. Well, artists are at their best when they're faced with a lot of creativity. Abstract. Well, the artist today has got paint splattered everywhere. And often sublime. 269 yards. This one is launched way up in the air and lands in a perfect spot. Comes down softly, little feathered three wood from Bubba. If you can feel it, Bubba's popularity is growing week by week. He was turning heads, but it wasn't anything his tour brethren didn't already know. When he plays the game, I mean, you just never know what to expect. I've never seen a guy be able to do more with his golf ball as far as shaping it. The fact that he just murders a golf ball is, uh, makes for a very exciting player. That's what's so good about him, the talent he has to, to hit certain shots and use his imagination. A paint-by-numbers guy he's not. His free-flowing attitude and style is a carefree approach to the game he affectionately calls Bubba Golf. Bubble golf is just a thing we coined. Having fun, enjoying the game, just hitting shots, being creative, playing the golf you want to play. Don't worry about what other people say, think about your golf swing, your golf game. Just having fun, seeing shots in your head and trying to pull them off. And if you do, great. If you don't, try it again on the next hole. It's just a game at its purest. Watson's artistry not only captures the imagination, it borders heavily toward the dramatic. Witness the Travelers 2010. Shot. Watson's birdie on the 72nd hole spurred him on to his first career victory in a playoff. Bubba Watson, your champion here at the Travelers. Bubba's offbeat creativity was again on display early in 2011 to capture win number two. Victory number three came at the Zurich Classic of New Orleans in another playoff. With two wins and missing only three cuts in 2011, it was his finest season ever. In 2012, nowhere was Bubba's imagination on display more than on the 72nd hole at the World Golf Championship's Cadillac Championship. He's cutting it. This is an amazing looking shot. That's unbelievable. Watson's got a birdie try to tie it. Pulling off the shot's easier than making the putt. You know, the shot was great. If I pull the putt off and make it, then that shot becomes even better. But to miss the putt, you know, it kind of takes the, the wind out of you. Yet one month later, a gap wedge off pine straw hooked 40 yards, a true masterpiece. Bubba Golf had just won the Masters. Winning a golf tournament, hopefully that doesn't change me as a person. Hopefully it doesn't change the view of me. But that shouldn't define me as a person if I've won a golf tournament or if I lost a golf tournament. His ability's imperfect, unconventional, aggressive with a strong dose of good old boy charm. His artistry and imagination, beautiful. A Picasso with a pitching wedge, like a near impossible looping wedge shot into history. I look at things differently. I don't take it for granted. I really am blessed to do what I do and have fun.